they tell me that akshat we want to create a side income but by the time we reach home we are just done so we just simply go home drink some beer watch netflix and we are done that's the end of the day and i have no control over time how do i create more time hey everyone welcome to today's video so on today's video i am going to speak about number one money making skill what skill is it it is it is productivity if you are productive throughout the day you will get a lot more work done whether you are a student whether you are a job goer job seeker etc etc it doesn't matter if you are productive then you get lot more work done and it translates to more money so on this video i am going to speak to you about my productivity system why is it that you should trust me is very simple that many of you might have seen me grow this youtube channel in the last one year i have been trying to put out one quality video almost every single day now many of you imagine that hey akshat is only a youtuber no that is incorrect over the last several years i have been an entrepreneur i am an investor even before coming on to the youtube and now i have reached a stage where three of my businesses are doing more than 1 million dollars each in a year in terms of revenues so of course a lot of my time goes into running those businesses that is where majority of my time goes into it if you know about my personal situation then i have a young son his name is zain he just turned 2 now if you have young son or daughter at home of course you can imagine that as parents we have to spend time with them also on top of that i write on social media platforms like twitter linkedin almost every single day if you're not following me there do follow me there so i'm telling you all these points not because i want to boast that you know what look at me i get so much work done no that's not the point in fact if i compare my level of productivity in front of someone like elon musk elon musk gets more done in 5 minutes than i get done in entire day so comparison is not the point here but i hope that through this video if you even incorporate two three basic points that i'm telling you it will help you become more productive and eventually it will translate to financial freedom so let us get that discussion started there are five specific practical points that i will tell you through my own experiences which will definitely make you more productive also a very quick shout out to our sponsors for today which is upgrad it's a wonderful platform for upskilling if you educate yourself if you make your brain sharper and if you learn new things it automatically adds to your productivity So I have linked some of my favorite courses on Upgrad in the comment box, so you can go check it out. So productivity tip number one is that you must have a positive belief system. If you feel that you are not in control of the time and you can't get control over your time, you will never ever ever have time freedom, and eventually you will never have money freedom also. What do I mean by this? Let me explain by using an example. So I speak with a lot of people. They are already in a job. they tell me that akshat we want to create a side income but by the time we reach home we are just done there is no energy left and when i go and speak with my friends also they also tell me the same thing that everyone in office is like so zapped so we just simply go home drink some beer watch netflix and we are done that's the end of the day and i have no control over time how do i create more time so first and foremost if you continue to believe that because you are doing a job you will not get any other time or because i am going to college i will not get more time to get other things done then you are just starting out with a very negative belief system and no amount of motivation from my end or anyone's end is going to create an impact on you so this is the first critical point that you need to understand a related rule that you need to understand here is called as the parkinson's law and which simply says and i'm paraphrasing elon musk's philosophy on this that guess what if you have 1 hour to clean your entire house your work will get done in how many hours 1 hour but if you give yourself 6 days to clean that same house guess how much time will it take for you to clean that house it will take you 6 days so the point is that the amount of work expands to fill the free time that you have if you are pushing yourself hard if you want to improve if you want to be productive you will be productive but if you start imagining things that people can only do one job they cannot do parallel job if they cannot go to office also raise a kid also study also start a youtube channel also then yeah you will not be able to achieve so many things so just to very quickly comment what is my belief system it comprises of three parts first part is called as the slow growth part So what I mean by that is that if you want to grow in life you should be okay with slow growth as long as you are improving every single day it should give you a positive feedback it should give you that belief that okay hey going forward i can improve faster so i am very very happy with slow growth and there is a very good quote that i read somewhere and it goes something like this that whether i run whether i walk or whether i crawl every day i will move forward so that is the slow growth system that i truly believe in second key related point here is that i believe in something called as efficiency theory just to help you understand when i shot my first youtube video it took me a lot of time to shoot it of course i was not adept at it i was struggling to speak in front of camera bunch of bad bad things but now because i have done so many videos i have become more comfortable shooting it my efficiency has gone up 
now irrespective of whichever skill i want to improve upon as long as i'm growing on it my efficiency will come with time so that is the second layer of positive thought process that i keep in mind now third important point that has really helped me is that i take work as a challenge or whatever activity i am pursuing as a challenge now many a times i meet students and job goers what they say is that you know what if my boss gives me work then i will go ahead and do it because my boss has asked me to now if my client asks me to do x that okay do like these five phone calls if my client asks me to do this particular activity i will only get done with that particular activity by this logic you are just fulfilling obligations you are treating your work as a work but if you treat your work as a challenge things become easier that's a more positive way of anchoring yourself towards your goals now the second key thing that will help you out is that you need to adopt that slow growth mindset and it ties into gradual productivity it's not as if that one day you will go to gym and you will bench press 500 kilos no that is a horrible way of exercising and that's probably dangerous and it can kill you so please don't do that same works for productivity if you are trying to improve the growth will be slow so two three things to keep in mind so first and foremost understand 72190 rule now let me explain this through an example so let's say that you want to become an excellent writer you hate writing you are not liking writing but you understand that it's very important for you to write then how do you get started so you need to understand that for the first 7 days you will hate that activity but you still need to figure out how to do it so you just spend maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes whatever time you can spend just spend 7 days on it by doing it on regular basis irrespective of the time that you can commit to then comes the second step that hey continue that activity for 21 days this is a time when you will start hating this activity less and less and probably you will be okay with it okay fine i don't enjoy writing that now maybe i don't hate writing per se then comes the last step that continue doing that activity for 90 days and i can guarantee that to you that you will stop hating that activity and maybe because you are getting better and better with that activity you might actually enjoy it so that is the 72190 rule many a times we just discard important stuff in our life thinking that we are bad at it of course when you are starting out you will be bad at it but try doing this activity for roughly 110 120 days by following this 72190 rule and you will see amazing results a related point here is the concept of valley of disappointment now what does this mean is that whenever we are trying to put our efforts we expect linear results that if i am spending 1 hour on this activity then my growth should happen this every single day i should see some improvement that is not the case what ends up happening is that you will see very slow growth at first and then there will be slightly better growth and then there will be a time when your growth will skyrocket so this becomes the difference between our expectation and reality and many of us quit during that phase and we end up not become productive in whatever we are trying to do now comes the third and final point which is around perfectionism many of us struggle to even start or put out our ideas in front of people simply because we are hoping to generate perfect results that hey if i'm writing my first linkedin post or first twitter thread it should go viral and it should generate like 100000 likes no it doesn't work that way in order to generate like 5000 likes on your linkedin post some day what you need to do is that you need to start writing regularly with very low expectations to begin with but many of us get into this habit of generating perfect things that hey our every deliverable should be like perfect no it doesn't work that way you will end up stressing yourself out so once you have built a positive belief system you have gradually improved your productivity now comes the time of amping up your productivity now here what you need to do is that you need to follow these three steps first and foremost you must set out ambitious targets and elon musk has put it wonderfully well so what he says is that you know what if you think that you can get something done in let's say a year's time maybe it is building your next startup then give yourself the target of doing it in one month only will it stress you out yes it will stress you out if you are still in step 1 or step 2 but if you have already executed these two things well then you have already built a little bit of muscle so at that stage start giving yourself ambitious targets and try to condense that goal of building your startup from 12 month into 1 month will you fail almost 99.99% yes you will fail but will you get a lot more work done during that 1 month the answer is 100% yes you will get a lot more work done so being ambitious and setting lofty goals make you achieve more in a very short span of time so this is point 1 point 2 is the work like a lion theory this has been purported word of the day today is purported so this has been purported by naval ravi kant what he simply says is that you know what you will stress yourself out if you continue to work at a very brisk pace every single day 
the modern workforce is not designed in that manner if for example you are trying to build your startup then it is okay to work super hard on some of the days then take maybe a day off or rest for that particular day then come again work really hard so this is a sprint and stop mechanism that prevents your enthusiasm from burning out so this work like a lion theory works very well in the modern day you must be like a lion that when you are running when you are working work really really hard other times just relax there was another wonderful quote that relates very well here that if you are not earning if you are not learning or if you are not relaxing then what are you doing with your time and trust me this is such an important thing many of you might just be scrolling unnecessarily on instagram we have nothing to do we will just scroll because we love scrolling so we will scroll one after the other watch one reel then watch 599 reels and we don't even know why we are watching just check some of the comments on my youtube video people don't even have patience to watch a video for 15 20 minutes they keep on saying that akshay you know what just make like 5 minute videos everyone is making 5 minute videos bhai if you are trying to improve on your skill set and if you don't even have time to watch something for 15 minutes then i don't know what to say to that my goal through this channel is to reach out to serious people who want to improve in their careers make money live a free happy life that is the goal and trust me if you are scrolling reels all day you will never get to that point aap mere se likhwa lo now comes the final point here which is the 1.5 goal theory it simply says that hey try to balance one hard goal and one easy goal and multitask so to say on that for example let's say that you are trying to improve on writing that's a tough goal that you have picked then pick an easy goal which you are already good at for example it could be just losing like maybe 1 kilo a month so that does not look too ambitious but if you are trying to clear your itj exam also pick up your writing skills also losing like 50 kgs also yeah that's not going to work out right you will stress yourself out so be little bit sensible yet ambitious with your productivity system now comes the fourth part as to how do you maximize your productivity once you have incorporated the first three steps so here i'll break it apart into three simple talking points one is that please plan things properly now people do two things here one they will over plan that you know what we'll use like google calendar also discord also slack also notion also and write it on our ipad also and there are 500 sticky notes that we'll put on our laptop screen also so we'll not even be able to see your own laptop screen that way so don't be over planned otherwise your entire day will go in planning only you will be left with nothing on the flip side don't under plan also that you know you have no plan i'll get up in the morning and i'll figure out what to do no that is also bad what you should do is that you should create a list of three items just prioritize what you are going to do the next day that's it that's all you need to do for example my google calendar is not filled i just pick three priority items that i need to get done in a day and i put it on my google calendar by blocking some time and i'm done with it that's it that's all goes into my google calendar i'm not like other people who will keep on like you know writing sticky notes putting it on laptop laptop screen i'm not able to see no none of that stuff just be broadly planned second key thing please understand the 80 20 principle i have talked about it so many times it helps you save crazy amount of time now many of you ask me that akshat please talk about which book you have recently completed i do not read full books yeah i have never read a full book what i basically do is that i read 20% of the book that's it maximum if it's an excellent book i'll read 30% of the book i'm good at skimming i'm good at absorbing knowledge so that way when a person ends up completing one book i would have completed three four books by that time why because i truly believe in the philosophy that in order to get a good understanding about anything all you need is 20 30% effort on it for example pick any book and try to scan through important pages and read only 20 30% of the book you will get 80% of the knowledge from that book and you are done that's all you need to do that is how you become productive if you start scanning through every single thing that is popping up on your screen or if you start reading every single book you will go crazy and you will go blind so please don't do it now comes the third part this is called as structured thinking this personally has helped me out a lot now it will be a separate video altogether if i talk about structured thinking i'm talking about it on my course on management consulting which starts from 15th of this month where i will teach you how to think like management consultants but just to tell you a high level idea about what structured thinking is it's the ability to think in buckets for example i made this video i structured it into five specific points that i'm going to speak about and i walked you through a story so this is what structured thinking is if you are structured thinker then you are also a structured absorber for example whenever i am reading an unstructured article it automatically gets structured in my head so doing this structured thinking in everything that i am reading absorbing talking giving out presentations it has made me quite productive now comes the fifth and final point which is the fun point which is about everyday productivity and honestly this is something that everyone keeps talking about on youtube 
I have talked about the theoretical aspect of these things also so that it gets you to this point number five. So let me wrap up this topic by talking about this point number five that these are some of the everyday hacks that you can use to become productive. One, please use Pomodoro technique. There is an app called as Pomodoro. Just download it. Do deep work. Work for 25 minutes. Take a break for 5 minutes. Adopt something called as bunching technique. So bunching technique simply means that let's say that you have to answer emails. Then don't keep on answering emails throughout the day. Just fix a time that hey, 8 a.m. in the morning, I'm going to sit for 30 minutes, clear out my inbox. Then 9 p.m. at night, again, I'm going to sit for 20 minutes, clear out my inbox. This is called as bunching technique. The most important productivity hack according to me is the ability to say no. Now, this becomes more and more prominent as you grow in your career. For example, in my case, I say no to 99% of the things. People say that, hey, do you want to invest in our startups? No. People say that, hey, can you be available for phone calls? The answer is no. In majority of the cases. Why? Because I cannot devote so much of lifetime. Otherwise, I'll have to cut out time somewhere to make time for all those things. It might look rude. It might look bad. But you have to learn to say no diplomatically. You have to be like a no person like Shrikant Tiwari. Now, if you have not watched that show, it's a wonderful show. It's, it's Family Man by Manoj Tiwari. You will get that understanding. I'm putting the meme here of what a no man means. So please don't be a yes person. Because if you are a yes person, your boss will keep on throwing crap and useless work at you and people will just take advantage of you. So please learn how to say no. That becomes very, very important in your everyday life. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment box which of these techniques you like the most. If there is a follow up video that you would want me to do, I would be happy to do it. Please comment below and I will see you the next time.